Dear student, this is Kamru Nahari of Physics Miss. Today, I am going to discuss about Chapter 6, Effect of Heat on Matter. This is a new chapter for us. So, the topics those will be discussed today. Heat, temperature, specific heat, real and apparent expansion. Now, heat. Heat is a form of energy that can be transferred from one object to another or even created at the expense of the loss of other forms of energy. The definition of heat is a form of energy that causes a difference in heat or the perception of warmth. For example, heat is, a, is hot water. Heat is a kind of energy. We have seen that energy can do work by applying force heat to displace a work in the direction force. For example, heat is produced by burning fuel, oil in a train or car and this produces energy. Now, in this case, heat is a form of energy and due to heat, our temperature of anything rises. Now, temperature. Temperature is a physical quantity that expresses hot and cold. It is the manifestation of thermal energy present in all matters, which is the source of the occurrences of heat, a flow of energy when a body is in contact with another that is colder. The temperature is measured with a thermometer. Again, I am repeating, heat is a energy kind of energy from our concept of energy we may think that heat flows always from higher heat energy to lower heat energy but it is not true in which direction heat flows also depends on the temperature where the temperature is high heat flows from those side actually heat energy comes from the motion of molecules atoms or other vibrations so what is specific heat of a substance the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of a substance 1 kelvin is called specific heat of a substance if amount of heat is denoted by q increase of temperature is initial case t1 and final temperature is t2 then specific heat is equal to q divided by m into t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 also can be denoted by del theta the unit of specific heat is joule per kg per kelvin as it is the introduction of this chapter, we are just knowing about the definition. So, the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of a substance 1 Kelvin is called specific heat of a substance. Okay, and if amount of heat is denoted by Q, increase of temperature means if the initial temperature is T1 and the final temperature is T2, then the difference between the temperature is T2 minus T1. Then specific heat is equals to Q divided by M into T2 minus T1. And the unit of specific heat is Joule per kg per Kelvin. Now real and apparent expansion. The expansion of the liquid without considering the expansion of the container is called the apparent expansion of the liquid. So, in this case, apparent expansion, the expansion of liquid is considered without considering the expansion of the container. And if the expansion of the liquid is measured considering the expansion of the container, that means is if the expansion of liquid is measured considering the expansion of the container is called real expansion. This is very important term in physics and in case of effect of heat on matter. You have to remember that in case of apparent expansion, the expansion of the container is not considered. And in case of real expansion, the total expansion 
is considered that means without any container we cannot heat give a liquid so it needs container to heat a liquid when heat is applied first the container also expand and then the liquid expand so in real expansion the expansion of container also considered okay thank you everybody please read at home